again and welcome. I've changed the shot angle this time to the left hand side of the tank. So the goniopora is on the left of the shots normally. And hopefully you can see the blue neon goby, the orchid dotty back and just swimming around now at the top one of the gold striped neon gobies. The other gold neon striped goby decides to come out when he feels like it but both of them to start with the day before yesterday were chasing each other around or well, one of them was chasing the other quite a lot but then by the end of the day they were actually palling up close together to each other and they seem to disappear every now and again. But it's nice to see this particular one he started venturing over onto this piece of rock here and that's why I wanted to put the shot this time just in case he does actually venture out over there. With regards to bubble scrubbing I was considering it doing it during the day but I had a comment on that particular vlog from Reef Girl RWFGRRL Canada and Reef Girl tells me that for her bubble scrubbing is twice in a 24 hour period so once at night and once during the day uh, effectively to mimic tides so I decided rather than just three times a week for the night time I would do it every night and every day so 12 to 1.30 during the day and the same time at night which is 10 to 11 30. It's had three cycles so far and I've noticed this morning particularly and even now a lot of the if not all of the the cobweb diatoms has now disappeared. It may be that it was going to disappear anyway but if, it, if it's been helped by the bubble scrubbing and I believe it has then so much the better and the water is definitely clearer at the end of the actual cycle it is really quite clear apart from obviously the, the nano bubble still coming up from the, the diatoms that are in the system and indeed some of the little bits of algae that are beginning to grow excellent and the, the skimmer itself um, does also um, make nano bubbles that get into the system no matter what I do with regard to a bubble trap they still make their way into the system but I'm not overly worried by that it looks close up like the tritis but of course it's not because it is actually bubbles they go up to the top and burst even though they're, they're really small so, everything is looking good the actual goby now as you can see is on top So when 
Bradford and then we were going to go down to St Albans to just check out the, the fish shop down there again. And I remembered on the way this other one, it's called Aquatic Warehouse that we popped into. Um, it was okay, nothing fantastic, apart from the lad that's now taken over as manager of the marine section, and they're going to put some money into it apparently to make it look decent, had his own tank there, which is a, a small Red Sea, and he's got the Ultra Long Lash GSP. GSP, Green Star Poly. Now, I've got the standard Green Star Poly, that one down there, and I really wanted the long one. He said, oh yes, we've got, uh, we've got a frag of that, but I've looked and looked and looked and couldn't see it, and I was trying to persuade him to cut a piece of his because he's got so much of it in that tank. He said, I'm going to get around to doing it, but um, he was just so busy, he really couldn't bring himself to do it, and he looks absolutely fantastic. It is so lush. Um, it really is marvellous, so I must get some of that for the back glass. So we went down to St Albans to see if they had any, and they didn't. Um, get me um, a pyjama rass and I'll be popping back at the weekend. He said he's going to get one in Thursday. He was going over to TMC on Thursday. TMC seems to be the whole thing. I think, well, every, every one of the, um, the fish stores that I go to, or fish shops that I go to, they all get their um, stock from TMC. And the corals, I have to say, is a matter of I know I've watched loads of videos about
move on if you look closely enough. That's got nice little temples coming up. Fed it the other day, it was okay. And I moved the green one to here. Swap them over. The other day when he was fed, he blew up like a like a, well he wasn't he was easily double that size, easily height-wise. He was he's like he had a massive blister on him. And we also got something that was on my list. And the Gobi's filled all the way around here. 
very, very busy. He's, he's really making his mark on his hotel room. He's Gobi Towers now, I think. So it's going to be interesting to see. See, he's just left a little marker there to say, well, that's where my entrance is. I can dive in there tonight. But the amount of sand that he's now built up there is phenomenal. And there's 100 pounds of sand in this tank in weight, 100 pounds UK of weight of um, live sand in here. You can see it, really good stuff. And he just chucks it around like it was nothing. Constant movement, non-stop. He just does not stop. If he's not actually moving the, the sand around to make his home more safe and secure for himself, he's, like he is now, filtering it. Marvellous. One of the hammers there. Ortitritis. That's, that's not um, dinoflagellate. That's, that's him sitting on his throne and doing his business. Frogspawn, still got some way to go to open up, but it's getting there. I've moved him down from the top to here. He is opening up more. Um, I've also tipped up towards the side a little bit more the papaya polyp up there. Clove polyp, papaya clove. Try and encourage it when it does start growing a lot more because a lot of its heads are opening now to get onto that rock. Zoas down here. Tiny, tiny little heads. Be interesting to see how long it will be before they do actually open up enough. I can see the top left hand one there is got bits of green in it. The other one doesn't look particularly nice, but I'm sure once it does start opening properly we'll see its colour. And that's gorgeous with those two greens and that one. Beautiful. And then the other one down there, it's got some orange in the centre, generally, well, we'll have to wait and see. And I'll put the other one over there out of the way. The heads just aren't opening over that side, so I'm going to try them over here. There's a little purple firefish again, the Zoa Garden. Something small and red in that cave, I'm not sure it'll make itself known. Got fed by the end of the pipette this morning to make sure it's fed. There he is again, one of the golden uh, neon gobies. I think he's going to be quite a bit of a character. The reason, by the way, that the torch coral is on its side. Again, from another YouTuber, uh, my apologies to that particular gentleman, I cannot remember his name, but he says if you put them on their side, that actually encourages them to grow more heads. And that's what he does with his, and he's shown that they do grow more heads. Now, since that cost the earth, an arm and two legs, um, I want as many heads as I can get. There we are. A can down there, it's actually showing a nice bit of colour, I don't know if you can see it here very well, it's got a beautiful light blue tentacles in the, uh, the middle as it were, but also around the edges, so that's coming along nicely, showing nicely, so the bigger that gets, the, the better it's going to look. That one doesn't look particularly anything at the moment, but it's, give it time. part of the Zoa garden on the other side, I've popped them there, they're looking good, I think they like it there. There's the blue neon goby sitting on the back glass. Amazing to watch these things, just sitting on the back glass, hanging there. The, uh, the clowns didn't like it too much because that was their territory going up and down in the corner, but all three of the, the striped neon gobies were sitting on that corner in the back glass just going up and down the same as the clowns and they wouldn't get out of the way when the clown sort of said oi this is my area <laughs> they more or less just looked back and said so <laughs> the clowns just had to suffer them when I put the firefish in they got chased a little bit a little bit by the, the clowns but that was it it's like over after about 10 minutes even the dotty back um, went up to them and sort of said oi had a little little chase, but nothing at all today. And I saw the dotty 
back going into what I think is actually his or her bed of a night time in the, the front of the rock. He's found himself a nice, nice uh, hole to go into. So all in all, everything's looking good. The skimmer is uh, working very, very well. Very pleased with everything. So one last shot. Beautiful colour on There are two gold stripes in there, and also, of course, there's a nano goby. Bright blue eyes with white body with um, a light yellow stripe down them. He's in there somewhere. He sits just in one place for hours at a time. So when you do get to see him, you can see him for as long as you like because he just stays in one place. Chances are at the moment he's um, on a rock at the back and I can't see him. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.